Hello, today I'm here with Paulina Pomplite. She's from Lithuania. She's pursuing her master's degree in international communication in Vilnius University. Paulina, thank you for coming here. Thank uh, you for first inviting of all, me. Thank you very much. First of all, uh, who is Paulina? Can you introduce yourself to us? Um, I guess a student, first of all. <laughs> um, yeah and just a person who is interested in communications, specifically international communications, and... Um, Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've told me before the interview that you've been to Erasmus. Let me start by which country you've been to. Uh, yes, I've been in Czech Republic, Prague. How would you tell us about your experience in there? Uh, I mean, it was amazing at first. Uh, I didn't plan to go to Czech Republic. Uh, my plan was to go to Italy because, um, you know, a lot of people always uh, tell you about how nice it is, uh, the, the good weather, everything compared to Lithuania. It seems very um, inviting. Uh, but uh, after all, um, I had some discussions with people who went on Erasmus before and they really recommended going to, to Czech Republic because uh, they liked the quality of universities and just uh, in general they liked uh, the country and it's easy to travel when you go to Czech Republic because it's uh, uh, Central Europe, very easy to, to, to reach other countries. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to go there. Uh, overall, it was fantastic. I'm glad that I chose Czech Republic because uh, it was amazing. The university was great. Um, the city of Prague is just beautiful. And uh, yeah, I found a lot of great people there. Uh, not only Czech people, of course, the international people there were also amazing, the community. So it was really great. <laughs> I guess you become more independent when you leave, first of all, your, your home, then your country. Because, uh, I mean, me, myself, I left my hometown to study in Vilnius, but it didn't give me that much of, I guess, uh, freedom and also um, individuality as, uh, as Erasmus. Mm -hmm. uh, because you have to leave your comfort zone. First of all, nobody speaks your birth language in another country, so that's the biggest change, I guess. And you really have to adapt to that, because not everybody speaks English either. Mm -hmm. So you have to know your ways in cer cer certain situations. Mm -hmm. Beside the language and the culture, did you face any challenges or obstacles? Uh, I guess language was the biggest barrier because uh, Czech culture is uh, pretty similar to Lithuanian one. I didn't, I don't, I don't think that I had any cultural shocks there, uh, at least not from uh, like Czech perspective. Maybe uh, while dealing with international students, yes, but uh, Czech people are pretty similar to Lithuanians, so it, it was quite okay. You now studying a uh, master's degree here in Lithuania in international communication. Did your uh, journey or your experience abroad, especially in Czech Republic, didn't it let you to think of studying abroad or pursuing your master's degree uh, abroad? So why did you choose to stay? I, this is a contrary to what I asked to international students. Why did you come here? So I'm asking you, why did you choose to stay in Lithuania? Yes. Uh, so first of all, I chose to stay because uh, I felt like it might be better for me to, to be close to my family and also I wanted to have a job while studying so I decided maybe it's easier to get a job in, in, in your birth country. Um, but uh, actually Erasmus influenced me to continue studying communications because at first I was moving more towards marketing and I decided that maybe international communications would, would be a better fit for me after my Erasmus experience. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific reason for you choosing Vilnius University for your studies? And uh, another question, which is, why did you choose to, to, to study in English rather than in Lithuanian, especially that you are in Lithuania? Uh, I mean, Vilnius University, obviously, I, ha I had some friends who were studying here uh, and doing their bachelor's degree here. Um, they had pretty good uh, um, things to say about Vilnius University, so I just decided that maybe it would be a good fit and also uh, this is I think the only um, university in Lithuania that has such a broad spectrum of uh, uh, master's degrees 
because uh, other universities have only a few options. So it was good to, to have more choices than only one or two to choose from. And uh, so, yeah, I decided to, to, to study international communications. And uh, I think it was just a natural choice to study in English because I didn't see a point of studying international communications in Lithuanian because aren't you supposed to be doing it in an international group? Yeah, like um, I, I have been to uh, some of your classes, uh, as you remember, and uh, I, I think your academics are uh, with high expertise. They have been to many countries and they, they came from abroad, some of them. Um, how, how do you think the international communication program here in Venice University uh, is preparing you for your future career and goals in general? How do you think it, it, it's impacting or having a good uh, effect on your journey overall? Uh, yeah, I think the first thing that uh, I actually noticed is that we have some professors from abroad, like you've mentioned, which is, I think, great because this is international communication. So we are literally getting education not from only Lithuanian perspective because it's obvious that uh, when professors are uh, presenting some sort of a topic or whatever uh, they tend to use examples from their own uh, world so like their own bubble so usually their own country uh, and a lot of Lithuanian professors tend to give examples from Lithuania but it's nice to have this like refreshing information from other countries from um, uh, professors uh, who are from abroad so mm -hmm. that's that's great and I just uh, enjoy studying in an international group because uh, my classmates also share their experiences uh, from their own environments so it's great because uh, we have some joint lectures with uh, Lithuanian groups and there is a lot of repetitive information because they are all sharing their experiences but they're quite similar and it's it's nice to have some spice mm -hmm. <laughs> in, in, the, in, the, in the information, uh, yeah. What, what kind of advice would you give people who will, may consider studying at Venice University, international communication, or in general, international students who would like to study in Lithuania? Um, uh, if I would have to encourage Lithuanians, I guess I would choose other words, because <laughs> I think that uh, some Lithuanians are quite scared, especially to study in English. Because uh, a lot of my friends are always telling me that, oh, I wish I could go on Erasmus, but I just uh, don't feel quite comfortable speaking English or, or I don't feel quite comfortable around other uh, foreigner uh, people because uh, well, Lithuanians could be quite reserved. Uh, so I guess for internationals, my advice would be to not be scared of Lithuanians because I've heard a lot of remarks that we are scary because we don't smile that that much or we don't seem very approachable or um, extroverted or whatever but I feel like Lithuanians are <laughs> extroverted and approachable but they just have to get used to you. Mm -hmm. At first they might seem a little uh, tricky but uh, when, once you get to know them they're they could be nice, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but um, in general, I think Vilnius University is quite a good uh, place for international people to study because basically every professor, I think every professor speaks English and uh, mm, their English is quite good, it's easy to understand. Um, all of the students are also uh, fluent English speakers, so there is no... Um, language barrier which is also also a plus uh, every time you go to to a foreign country and uh, yeah Venice University has great facilities great professors I think it's uh, it's worth at least trying to study here <laughs> Paulina before Czech and Paulina after I think uh, after my Erasmus uh, studies uh, kind of gain more confidence and also I think that I took some um, cultural things from from my friend group because my friend group was uh, quite diverse people from from different countries so uh, I took some good and bad things from from their uh, from their behavior and uh, 
yeah, I think that uh, sometimes even um, my Lithuanian friends say that, you know, um, my uh, behavior or just communication in general with, the, with other people completely changed. Because before I was more reserved, I didn't feel like I need to make a, a lot of friends because I had some friends from school, so I didn't see a point in that. But uh, after Erasmus, I understood that uh, sometimes uh, you are in a safe bubble in your country between your family and friends, but uh, sometimes life puts you in like a complete uh, uh, uncomfort, uncomfort where you have no one and then you just have to you're forced to make new friends new connections so uh, now I decided that even in my comfortable bubble here I will still try to 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 make more more friends or at least just get to know more people mm -hmm. you've told me before that you uh, are volunteering in a, a group that supports LGBTQ individuals uh, first why did you decide to join this group second what kind of activities do you do there uh, yeah I decided to join because I'm from a small town so we don't have a lot of uh, we don't have any groups that support, first of all, LGBT uh, people and uh, of course uh, there are a lot of people with certain views there uh, and it's not a very supportive environment so I just felt like it would be uh, a good starter for me to, to, to join a group because I, I, I just moved to Vilnius so it was a new community and also a lot of my friends uh, are LGBTQ, so I just felt like it's uh, good for me to, to, to know that community and to join and to help them as much as possible. So the group is basically just uh, organizing uh, events where people could feel safe to, to, to join, to express themselves, to be themselves. Uh, usually it's just uh, cozy small community events and of course we are trying to join as many um to join as many initiatives uh, for, uh that are supporting lgbt uh, community here in lithuania because i guess this is quite a, a, a controversial topic still uh, for some people so we're trying to educate people and also to feel uh to make the community feel welcome in in lithuania thank you very much Thank you. Thank you.